welcome back. This episode is going to be a hodgepodge of projects, so just sit back and enjoy the ride. What do you have to say for yourself, Foreman? What? What do you have to say for yourself? We're moving. We're off and moving. It's like the early boat days. Yeah, this reminds me of the beginning. It's the beginning again. Yeah. So I got this wall off. So that demo is done. The problem is with these sides, they painted right on the main stuff. They didn't put up a, a board, which is fine. I mean, it's just really slow going. One of the best things about being out on Todd's brother's property is that they have all kinds of fun toys. So we're constantly getting sidetracked over all the fun toys that they have. Take a look at this thing. It's amazing. Here we go. It's my first official ride in the cab. It's a little rough, guys. We've got a little work to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Just you gotta get out of the way fast. Pull it Please. I can just run, baby. Run, babe. Ready? Yeah, I'm going. Run. Just run. Get out of the way. <laughs> so one of the next projects is to clear out everything between the cab and the box because we are going to eventually completely pull that all together so we have a pass through so we have to clear out everything kind of in between there to see what we're working with and that's always a fun task but as you can see we got it done it was just a lot of heavy pieces of metal that needed to be removed but now we can add this little find to the back of it we'll take this apart Strip it down because we're going to have to resize it. So this all needs to go. Uh, Todd picked up this cab from a semi. He went over to Ohio and picked it up on a uh, with a trailer along with a couple of bigger tires. Half of the tires that we needed. So um, now we just need to kind of clean it out because as you can see, I'm sure something was living in it. Yep, pretty sure. Show, show the team. Salt and Siren crew. So there's the raccoon damage to the 1980s cab. When we tear it all out, you can see we got good aluminum to work with. That's the outside panel. and But it's got good infrastructure. All aluminum, so yeah, we're going to have to section this down because it's too wide. But it looks like we got a pretty good place to start. I hardly get that out of there. What are we going to do? I don't know what's going on here. I just finished working in the car. Um, so he is, I think, what they call de skinning. So he just has the frame, so that way we can move the frame over there. The sucker is too heavy, but also we've got to cut it down because it's a little wider than that space there. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. I don't know how he knows how to do this stuff. I mean, honestly, how do you know how to do these things, you boys? You just figure it out? <laughs> I'm just the glorified like helper.
side metals off, top trim pieces off, sides off, and the last is off. So as you can see, it's coming along. So while Todd did this work, I decided to do a little product shoot. <laughs> always utilizing my surroundings for some marketing. So what would normally happen is that we would order product during the week, things that we needed for the truck, they'd come in, and this is the kind of mail that Todd gets really excited about. I don't get it. It's a little different than when I open my boxes and you open your boxes. <laughs> and then on the weekends, we head back to the job site to tackle another project. So this particular weekend, we were tackling raising the box in the back, which I'm not gonna lie, freaked me out because it's like 9,000 pounds. <laughs> Todd's brother had these really long pieces of wood that we actually needed. These came from a job site from his father who, so they've had this wood forever. And so we're kind of excited to have a little piece of Todd's father with us on the truck. What we did have to do is rip the wood, which was incredibly difficult to do because we didn't have our table saw because it was at the boat. <laughs> and we needed something that had a big enough blade depth and it's a long expansive piece of wood as you can see so it took us a while we got it figured out but a little stressful <laughs> you're laughing about this. <laughs> because i don't know what the hell we think we're doing <laughs> oh god we've officially lost our brain <laughs> We're just lifting this big ass box off of the like whole thing, you know, to set it on some wood. <laughs> That's probably older than me. <laughs> but no big deal. <sighs> How did I get here? <laughs> you might be wondering why on earth would you go through the trouble to lift that entire box? Well, Todd has plans. You know those tires? They're pretty big. But apparently for Todd, they're just not big enough. So we need some more clearance. Apparently we're gonna get that clearance with putting this wood underneath the box, which seems very weird to me that all of this weight is gonna be put on wood and not metal. But I'm not the engineer here, so I'm trusting the process. I wanna stop doing scary things. Terrifying. I would not advise anybody ever to do this, ever. He's doing exactly what I told him not to do, which is to be in there with your head like that. Off of here, right? Yeah. Okay. The spaces are big enough, so we're gonna have to go bigger anyway. Yeah. All right. Now. It's not very much clearance, but yes, it's there. Let me start clicking on these. See when you start pulling those. Okay, so the one board is in. It's kind of a bear to get in there. That's not too bad. Good. Yeah. So now we're gonna get it's the all other one. With the weight distributed over the whole thing. Yeah. And then we're gonna put the other one in there. He's been scaring the hell out of me since I got here. <laughs> We've got this, look at all that it's space. 9, 000, it's almost 10,000 pounds, it's no big deal. 10,000 pounds just hanging out on that little jack there. You know, no biggie, it's fine, everything's fine. We're well, that putting- jack, That jack there is holding uh, 30,000 pounds. 
thirty thousand. Oh, I'm sorry, thirty thousand. Like There's one in there too. It's hard to see. It's on top of that though. <laughs> I'm waiting for the scary part to be over. When is that part over, babe? When's the scary part over? So I told you I would speak a little more on what Todd's brother does. They own a customs motorcycle shop called Blue River Customs. And Tommy has just about every tool you could possibly want. That's why this has been such a blessing for us to be able to do our build. And you know, he has the know-how like Todd does from just thinking engineeringly wise. It's not even a word, but you know what I'm talking about and helps us with you know all kinds of little things and problem solving so it's been super great i know the guys have really enjoyed spending time together and they've got a great shop there so if you're ever looking for customs with motorcycles this is your shop remember those big old bolts that we got in the mail well we are working on the fastening system for that so todd is using the drill press to punch through these pieces of wood that will sit outside of the rails uh, where we slide our bolts in and connect everything together. On the next Salt and Siren, we have a slew of other projects to share with you. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.